DaVinci Resolve Cinematic Color Grading Basics in less than five minutes. Let's go. What's good everybody? For those of you guys who are new to my channel, my name is Sydney Baker Green. I'm an international photographer, content creator, and cinematographer. And today I'm here to bring you guys the basics of cinematic color grading in DaVinci Resolve. To keep it simple, we're going to be doing a teal and orange color grade using the curves of the log wheels. And if this video does well, we'll do more creative tutorials for different types of color grades as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'd like to do is set up all the nodes I know I'm going to use. So we're gonna delete this link. We're gonna add a node here, add a serial. Then we're gonna add a corrector, add corrector. And all remember, these are all left clicks and then layer mixer. So we connect this green dot here, this blue dot to the that one. And then we connect this dot to that one, that green dot there and that green dot there. And then to the end. So node one is going to be our exposure correction. Node two is going to be for our skin tones to qualify them and correct them. Node three is going to be for our color grading. And node four is also for color grading, but it simply passes the effects on from two to four so that our color grade doesn't affect our skin tones. And this layer mixer just makes sure that that pass through actually happens. So let's go ahead and start with basic correction. First thing I like to do is bring up my waveform over here. And then I'm going to set my black point. And I'm gonna drag this down here, and then I'm gonna actually move my black point until my highlights come up right where I want them. So I'm gonna lift this up because it's a little too dark, and I think that's about where I'm going to want that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna add some saturation. Make sure I'm on my log wheels tab here. Just add some saturation. I go up to 68 on my camera because I know that's what's going to look good. Cool, so that's where we are there, basic correction. You can see where we're at, where we started. Next thing we're gonna do is qualify our skin tones. Click on node two. Go into the qualification tab, make sure that this one is selected in selection range, and then go ahead and turn on that magic wand. Since he's far away, I'm gonna zoom in a bit. And I select the midtones right there. I'm gonna go ahead and bump up the uh, denoise it to about 26. Should do my clean whites to make sure his skin tones really are selected. I want to make sure that everything in the saturation range is there, and that's a good qualification for the skin tones. It doesn't have to be perfect. You won't really notice it since we denoised it so much. And if we do, we just go back in and we'll change it later. So the next thing I'm gonna do to trick my skin tones and to correct them, we're just gonna simply go to the power window here. We're gonna add a power window. And I'm gonna bring it right over my skin tones. Just right over his face. And you can see here, we're gonna go to the wave vector scope actually, and then make sure under the settings and vector scope, you have the show skin tone indicator. Settings is right there. And now I'm going to go ahead and move that little exposure right there over until that touches either the top side of that line or it's right on the line. And then to give the skin tone some life, I'm going to add just a little bit of red in the shadows. Remember a little bit goes a long way. Go ahead and turn off that power window, turn that off right there. And then again, I'm just gonna add a little bit more saturation to my skin tones. Lastly, we're going to get into the color grade. So using the curves, we're going to do the teal and orange method two ways. First one's using the curve. So you start off with the red curve, you drop the red curve down in the shadows area. Then you're going to use the blue curve and bump up the blues and just the shadows. Right about there looks nice. And then we're going to go ahead and take that out of the highlights. And then green, bump up the green in the highlights, take it out of the shadows and midtones. And that right there is the basics to a teal and orange color grade. If you want to, you can even play around with the exposure, but we're gonna leave it where it's at for right now. Now let's do that with the log color wheels. And for the log color wheels, you have a little bit more control. So to do teal and orange, you're gonna start off by go ahead and just adding a little bit of purple in the shadows. And then we're going to add a nice blue into the midtones, And you see that didn't affect it, that's because we don't have our low range set properly. So we're gonna bring our low range down, see right about there, super nice. So we've gone from this to this so far. And I'm just gonna bring down this just a smidge. I like that right about there. And you can leave that alone, but what I'm gonna do right here is I'm just gonna add a little bit of magenta into the highlights or purple into the highlights. Go ahead and add another node and cancel that out right there, leaving just a little bit of the effect and then 
playing around with the high range till it looks nice. And right there is your basics to your teal and orange color grade with the log wheels. All right, to give you guys another example, we're gonna use this final clip and all we're gonna do, same thing, we're gonna set up our nodes the way we want them to be used. Now we're gonna again start with our exposure correction in node one. So I'm gonna go ahead, drop that down. Looks good right about there. And then I'm gonna adjust my black point to about where I want it. And I think right there is pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and again, add some saturation. We're gonna do about 68. Next thing we're gonna do again is qualify our skin tones. Make sure that magic wand is selected. Go ahead and select the mid-tones of our skin tones. And then we're just gonna go ahead and denoise that nicely. Like that right about there. We're gonna do clean whites, clean blacks. Right about that, like that. Again, I'm not gonna show you guys how to trick the skin tones. I just already know my camera's profile and what, when the everything is set up correctly, what it needs to be. But you guys remember that from the previous part. And I'm gonna, again, just add a little bit of saturation into these skin tones one more time, just the skin tones. Cool. Now let's go ahead and do our color grade. I'm gonna do the log wheels with this one because I think the curves is pretty self-exclamatory. So I'm again gonna start out with this, this nice purple, dark blue, and my shadows. And then in my mid-tones, I'm gonna add that nice blue. I'm gonna bring down my low range so that that has more of an effect. I know what you're seeing, you're seeing that there, don't worry because I still feel like this image is too bright. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop down that exposure right there. Right about there. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna clean up this qualification because I can see it's a little messy. Awesome. That's looking a little bit better right there. You can see that's just the basics. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications if you already haven't, and be sure to follow me on my social media. The links are in the description down below. Also be sure to follow the YouTube fam. Their links are in the description down below. And leave me a comment letting me know any other tutorials or videos you guys would like me to make. Remember folks, if you're ever feeling uninspired or just want to give up, Every day, airplanes take off against the wind. Live, love, laugh, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. My name is Sydney. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.